Hello, I have in front of me a Garmin FR60 limited edition um, bundle. Um, this um, packaged um, bundle comes with footpot um, and an end stick to wirelessly sync your data to your computer and a premium heart rate monitor. Um, this product is a new, obviously, for those of you, uh, those of you runners out there. But I just managed to get myself one finally. I've been wanting to get such product and tossing around between brands like Sumto, Garmin, Polar. Decided to stay with Garmin. I mean, decided to stick with Garmin. Um, what it comes with. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this is the foot pot very tiny and this is the USB end stick for the computer to wirelessly sync the data side and this is the watch itself uh, take the cover off don't need that <laughs> and this the is the hard right monitor itself, I believe, and it, it comes with a CR2032 battery. I mean, I'm not sure about the foot pot itself, but it uh, should be the same battery on that. I gotta check out the manual. But this is the hard right monitor. And this is the premium strap, which I've read in forums that, in other people's opinion, that this is much more comfortable than the standard one. And I guess that's the re there's a reason why they call it the premium one. This is more flexible around the chest. And you, I believe, you just plug it, plug it in like that. There you go. Put it in. And adjustable, obviously. Okay, put that aside. Um, comes with a manual. What is this? Uh, brochure about Garmin Learning Center. They have posted lots and lots of videos on YouTube as well. I found they have their own dedicated channel. Um, do have a guide in I guess Portuguese or Spanish, correct me if I'm wrong, and some other languages that I don't really understand. So four different manuals in four different languages and as well as English and from that you have all this information, safety and product info, just like what you get. Um when you buy mobile phones and other electronic devices, so you can't sue them if you get radiated and die. <laughs> anyway, this is the um, manual itself and the watch. So let's go through setting it up. So press the mode button of your watch, which is that mode button. Okay. Go with English, I guess. Enter. And then set up the time. You want 12. 12. And you go up and down. Um, time now is 10. Making those annoying noises. And minute. It's 05. So. Five and yep, seconds fine. Uh, date is two thousand and eleven. Uh, okay, and month now is September, and today's date is is twenty second.
metric, I guess. Mail. Put down the H. Weight. Height. Lifetime athlete. <laughs> I guess not. And I really gotta read more of the manual. Um, okay, so it does give you this activity class chart. What you do. So I guess I fall into the category of between four, five. I would say more of a five, I think. So I'm gonna put myself five. And then it configures the the watch itself. Okay. And yeah, that's about it, I think, with the setting of the watch. So it tells you the time and the dates. I need to change that to PM. <laughs> put that incorrectly. Um, so anyway, continue on with the uh, um, manual. It shows you that the components, and yeah, it tells you other stuff such as how to use it for a run. Um, before I wrap up, I'm gonna show you two other accessories that I got with this thing. Um, so I got two of these, which is pretty nifty, uh, making this very versatile. So I can. Use this for running. Um, also, going cycling. So, first of all, let's get through with the less exciting one. That is um, the mount kit for the bicycle. Looks like this. Attach it to your handlebar. You have these two cable ties, which looks pretty a crude way to attach it to your bicycle so I'll tell you like that pretty simple and then it gives you limited warranty info it's all in other languages so I suppose you're gonna yeah, put your uh, watch like like you would on your wrist but this time on your bicycle it's gonna look like this on your bike this is how you mount the uh, bicycle mount simply like I've mentioned before wrap the um, watch over the mount itself I haven't put the cable tie but you can also run cable tie around it to make it secure but I think this is secure enough anyway without the cable tie I'm gonna try it without the next accessories is the Garmin GSC 10 which is the speed and cadence sensor that you can use for your bicycle. So I'll tell you again in multiple languages. Let's start with the English. So first of all, this is the receiver that you mount on, on the back of your uh, bicycle. I'll show you where I mount it later on. But let's first get to the parts that came with it. So you got for these, two of these I imagine will be to use to mount uh, this thing, which should be like that. And you'll get on your the back of the bicycle, the chain stay. And you just use the cable tie on it. Just like the picture indicates, suggest. And then you will need to attach these two different sensors uh, or magnets, I would say. This thing, it's actually the one that goes on the spoke, so you put it in between the A spoke, and you screw it tight like that, and this you would want to put on the crank itself to measure the cadence, which is the number of pedal that you can do per minute, I believe. These are the components of the uh, cadence and speed bicycle sensor. So I'm putting it in the rear chain stay opposite of the gear system. Um, this is the receiver, the GSC-10. And this is the spoke magnet. So just make sure that they are 
within five millimeter of each other as it passes and then the same goes with the cadence magnet sensor that put on the crank okay so that's been a look at the garmin fr60 with some bicycle accessories and where i mount them and all that i uh, hope that helps um if you have any questions uh, as always post your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and once again thank you for watching bye